right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we got another Halloween theory for you, plus a little bit of news, a little bit of news uh, yes. with a new picture and all that. So uh, yeah. let's get into this here. Um, all right. So let me ask you this. Yeah. Uh, it's possible that some of the stunt casting may have revealed a few characters from Halloween ends. I just got to tell you, is there another, is there <laughs> another film franchise that is like this where people like look at the casting and can figure things out and look at the, look at the filming <laughs> locations and look at like you what, know what color shirt so-and-so is wearing on a certain day. <laughs> no, you know I think, I mean? <laughs> honestly, I think it's, it, it's us diehard Halloween fans, man, because we're so into the movie. We, we want to know stuff about it. I, again, we, we don't want anything spoiled for us, but we want to know what's going on at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, they've been so tight lipped with this one yeah. compared to the other two. Um, so, but I, this is, I'm actually learning this. So, I want to know what, what are we finding out? What do we have? Right. What's, what's so, so far, away? a quick look at the stunt casting for the film has revealed some potential new characters. So, while the cast list remains sparse for the, for ends, outside of the remaining characters from the uh, past two films. Here's some ideas we got here. We do have names for characters who will be presumably involved in some action or death sequences. So stunt performer Joanne Barnett is said to be playing the stunt double of Joan. I don't know who, what character that is, but that's who she's stunt doubling for. Mm -hmm. uh, Lydia Hand will be uh, reprise her stunt role as Allison for the previous two films. That's not huge news, but, you know, okay, it makes sense. Uh, Stanton Barrett will double the role of Corey. So Joan and Corey are two characters that I don't know anything about at this point. And I know you've never heard anything either. Um, Nyla Hope will stunt double for a character known as Destiny Monet. And Ooh, speculation, like well, speculation is saying she may be one of the DJs at the Haddonfield um, Okay. Radio station. Who she knows? doesn't. She doesn't work at the Red Rabbit Lounge. <laughs> you never know. Uh, <laughs> well, here's the thing. We we already know that Willie the Kid is your main DJ because we've right. heard that name already. Yes. Yeah. So maybe she works with him. I don't yeah. know. And then James Ortiz is doubling for a character named Jesse C. Boyd. I don't know any of those names. I don't know what character roles they could possibly play, but the the talk is that that has given us some look into some possible characters for Halloween. Uh, if they're big characters, small characters, we don't know. We don't know yet because we we honestly don't know shit at this point. We really don't. No, we um, don't. Uh, you know, and uh, nobody's seen Tom Atkins walking around with a cup of coffee on the set. Hey. So uh, we don't know. Uh, but, you know. <laughs> or, or wait a minute, or Daniel Harris, because that's been the or talk or Daniel forever. Harris, or yeah. Daniel Harris. Love Daniel Harris, though. Uh, Me too. I, I'll be completely honest with you. If they snuck her in there, I would, would not be, be upset. Totally yeah, yeah, I would not be upset. You know, man. it seems like people don't realize that they could put her in as a totally different character. That could yeah. happen, folks. I just want to throw oh, it out. Now, hundred percent. They may not want to. They may not want to deal with it. They may not want to have to worry about explaining. I'm just saying it, that could have been a solution. But yeah, with all the fan service they've given, you can't complain one way or the other. Um, when it right. comes to that so that's for sure um all right so <clears throat> you sent me something that was very interesting yeah and it's a possible first image yes from halloween kills or halloween Inn, sorry and it's of allison and she's double double knifed up yeah yeah now we I, don't, I don't know we, we, think, we don't have a confirmation of this but it looks pretty legit and uh, yeah. you'll see the photo there on the on the screen um yeah, uh, I don't know what to think of this. You know, this could lend this could lend credence to a couple uh, a couple of <clears throat> excuse me a couple of theories. My voice just did a weird thing. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of possible theories. Um, yeah. uh, one of which being that Allison is possessed by the spirit of Michael. <laughs> and that's where, and that's where we're going too. So that's a good segue. And that's a, yes. and that's a yes. good segue. So so let's talk about it. <laughs> All right, man. <clears throat> so I will admit that. Uh, several months ago, I did hear that uh, David Gordon Green was going to um, kind of pay homage to one of John Carpenter's past films, mm -hmm. being Christine. Um, how that came into play, I wasn't sure. Uh, I sat there and kind of thought to myself, how the hell do you do that? Because Christine is about a possessed car 
right. essentially possesses this 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 teenage kid. And then you start to think, all right, how the hell do they do that? And he also well, said something along the lines of, is there too much <coughs> pristine in this? Right. He said it that if he, he sent the script to John Carpenter and if he said if it was too much Christine, let him know. So, OK, really gets you thinking, right? Well, now there's a theory on why this is here. So the theory says Carpenter's I don't know why they're saying this. This is what I'm, I'm getting. But Carpenter's Halloween end tease reveals Allison kills Lori. It's not John Carpenter's movie, but still, we'll just let that go. That's what that's how it was written. Um, Okay, uh, you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Okay, although the, the trilogy is a continuation of Carpenter's original movie and ignores all the sequels in some aspects, it has referenced all those movies in different ways. And this, along with a tease linked to another Carpenter movie, could be pointing at Alice and Killing Lori and Halloween Ends. I, okay. So director David Gordon Green spoke about his plans for Halloween ends, explaining it's a more intimate movie, which we've talked about that before, um, and even called it kind of a coming of age film. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that's going to fit into play, but we'll see. I mean, a lot of different things. Exactly. Uh, Green also spoke about honoring Carpenter with Halloween ends and mentioned Christine as an influence, even telling Carpenter when sending him a draft that if it felt too Christine, to let him know. Okay. Uh, so then it breaks down. Obviously, Christine is a supernatural horror movie directed by Carpenter in 1983 and based on the novel by Stephen King. Yeah. We, we, we know all that, but for those yes. who don't, there's your lesson. Yes. Um, okay. So here now where we're getting into the theory. Um, perhaps Michael will be severely wounded and unable to continue, but he will have enough strength to possess someone and keep killing through that person. Um, it sounds very Friday the Thirteenth. Jason goes to hellish right there. As long yeah. as nobody eats J- or as long as nobody eats Michael's heart, I guess we're okay. And if he doesn't show up at the Youngstown Morgue, we're really okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that part yes. of the movie? Yes, dude. No, I know this. Jason this goes a- to hell. The Youngstown, yes. Youngstown, Ohio. Right. Yeah, dude, oh, yeah. I, you know what? I, and I know it's going to be a <laughs> tangent for. By the way, this is where we're from. In case you guys right. don't know. So I'm apparently gonna, our gonna, morgue down at St. E's yes. downtown. <laughs> but here was the best part of that though. Like I remember going to see that in a theater and it popped up Youngstown, Ohio. And I was like, wait, did that only happen? Did that happen in every town that they went to? Like I was confused. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. So when I, when I later got the movie at the time on like VHS, it still said Youngstown. I was like, Oh, holy shit. Like Jason was here. Right. Yep. He, he wasn't, <laughs> but it was cool though. Right. It was um, cool. Yeah. Right. Cool. So it sounds very, Jason goes to hellish right there, but okay. Yeah. Um, so it picks up saying that basically um, Allison then could be possessed by Michael Myers and Halloween ends, killing Lori in the process and adding even more to Allison's revenge against Michael. I don't really know how that would. Anyway, um, who would have killed everyone she loved by then? All right. So I, I don't know, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say that this is not going to happen. Yeah, that's very far fetched. Like, uh, okay, now we, okay, they they teased it. Let's be honest. And and in the end of Halloween four, when Jamie did, touched his they hand, did. they did. And she went home. She put on her little clown mask and she stabbed her mom in, in the in the well near the bathtub. Okay, we got that tease. But I think this, if if Allison were to kill Lori, no. what would be I the just, point? What would be the point in going back down that path again? If you want to watch, right. if you want to watch, if you like that storyline, watch four through six. Yeah. You know, um, my, my guess is the, the Christine tie-in is really just going to be the supernatural factor. I think that's it. Probably. Or hear me out no. on this. Okay. You know, when you think of brain waves and everything else, the, t- the yeah. tower controlling everything, wouldn't Michael being controlled by a uh, dark entity himself be Christine esque in a way? That, yeah, that makes you know, sense. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be him possessing another person. Maybe he's right. being the one possessed. I mean, that's possible. Uh, yeah. You know, that so, makes more sense. I think so. I think that that's, you know, a lot less to go through to get to that point. But absolutely. You know, like I told you off, off, off the air, I, I think they're throwing a lot of this stuff out there to confuse us intentionally and, and to get everybody whipped up into a frenzy. But 
we talked about that too, though, and said that would actually be a good thing on their part to really yeah, fuck with people. Smart. Too. It's smart. Yeah, yeah. it's smart yeah. because now people go into this movie not knowing what to expect. I'll give you an example. Uh, you know, when this, uh, when they first, before they filmed this movie, it was uh, the big thing that was going around. COVID was going to be a big part of the story. Yeah. Remember the pandemic? They were going to bring that in. Yeah. And and then months later, we hear, oh yeah, there's very little of that in the movie, if any at all. Which is good, though. That, Which is good. good. It's good, but yeah. it's almost like they threw that out there just to get people going. Yeah, you know what I that's mean. True. Uh, and we'll see. And, and, Again, we don't know, but and a, and a lot of people attributed that to uh, Jamie Lee Curtis being a very yes. political person outside yes. of yes. What, what else, yes. you know. So of course they hated to hear that, and plus some people don't like her because of that. Right. So there was an interesting, kind of interesting comment that went along with the whole theory about you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so this person says it's the fucking mask. Uh, they're going to focus on the mask having some sort of supernatural control over its keeper. I, like kind, of Halloween. A, I kind of agree with that. Totally. Yeah. So yeah. They're, I, they're saying like Halloween three, which we've talked about that numerous times. Yeah. Uh, just like the 1958 Plymouth had over Arnie and Christine. Uh, and one of the two things is going to happen. Uh, Lori is going to kill Michael, but the mask is going to possess Allison. I, again, I don't think that's going to happen. Why would, she's she gonna kill Why would she put right. it on? Why would she put the mask on? Right. Haven't she learned her lesson when, when yeah. Sartain did it? Like, yeah. really? Right. Um, so it'll possess Allison and she's going to kill Lori and pick up the knife herself. I don't follow that. I also want to point something out, too. Mm -hmm. Michael was Michael before he broke into the hardware store and stole the mask. Michael was right. already what he was. Yes. Very why true. Why does the mask all of a sudden hold so much power over him? I think the mask for him is more of a emotional it's, connection. it's his it's, it's his, his identity, identity. Yeah, yeah exactly exactly that's what i don't is. think it's it has a power over him it's, it's kind of like the undertaker with the urn when, yeah. when you know when when uh you know when when paul bear turned on for those wrestling fans out there when paul bear turned on on the undertaker and yeah. joined mankind uh the undertaker didn't lose his power even though he didn't have the urn anymore. It was more exactly. like you said, his identity. It was, yeah. it was the idea of it more so than the, than the actual power that it had. And I think it's kind of, sure. of a similar thing. No, know? I agree. So then it says, then, then she's going to change into the shape. No, no. Just like Arnie changed or the mask is going to kill Michael or be the reason for his death and ends. Just like Christine did <laughs> uh, to Arnie in the end of the movie. Now, this person said I might be jumping to con conclusions, but both of these uh, theories would honor Carpenter, not to mention the tie-in on Halloween 3. I, no, <laughs> I don't see it, man. I don't see it coming. I, I don't see it coming. I, 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 I could see some sort of Halloween 3 tie-in yeah. with something to do with the mask, maybe directly or indirectly. Uh, you know, in, in a crazy world, I could see Tom Atkins show up at the end of the movie. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and, and have some sort of end of movie cameo that would make everybody go, "Holy shit!" You know, right? Uh, but uh, and even that's kind of uh, that's kind of out there. So I know I, mean, I don't I don't think it's going to happen. Again, I, I we we've we've talked about this numerous times. We've got a lot of comments about it too. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some type of Halloween three reference in this movie because they yeah, went out of it, their way. They have they have you know to really do yeah. that. But then again, we've also talked in previous videos that. Everything they've done is planted a seed to something else, even if it yeah. be something small. Right. So really, at this point, uh, we don't know what to expect. But I know that I, I don't think the mask is going to possess anyone. And I don't think Michael's going to possess anyone either. I, I agree with like what you said. Michael himself is the supernatural being in this movie. Yeah. So it, it's just the same thing. Like Christine, the car was the supernatural being in that. Yeah. Movie. Yeah. I keep I keep going back you know? to. Loomis just saying how it's pure evil. It's pure yeah. evil. And I feel like that's kind of where we've come full circle now. That's what yeah. Lori's realizing. When she says he transcends, it means yep. basically he's feeding off of our fear. I, I kind of like Freddy Krueger. He's exactly. feeding off of our fear. And the more we fear him and the more chaos he creates, the stronger he becomes and therefore oh, the harder he becomes to kill. But then now it makes me think of like uh, it. Remember how they kind of, yeah. like if, you, if you ignore him, Right. Will he go? Will he go away? Right. Uh, My Michael ain't going nowhere. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. It's right. still dangerous as hell. <laughs> what, if, what, if, what? All right. So, what if like that mob scene in Halloween Kills? Right. What if they all just would have turned their back on him and he just would have walked? <laughs> away? He just would have walked away. Like, well, fuck these guys. Then, like, he just would have walked away. You know. That's it. He just would have left. <laughs> They're gonna do a silent protest. 
right? He'd have like yeah. slashed the knife and nobody would have moved. He'd have been like, what the fuck? I'm out. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, what do you oh, guys man. think? Of course, uh, always looking forward to your comments on this. Is 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 yeah. uh, is the is Allison gonna go crazy and kill Lori, uh, or um, is is that way off base? Uh, I, uh, I you know. She may be a little bit uh, Lori Strodish attitude wise from Rob Zombie's Halloween by now. I mean, she's had yeah, four years to sure. sit. Her, her mom's gone, her dad's gone, her boyfriend's dead. Right. That's a lot to soak in. So she right. may have like an attitude to her, a little bit of a, a badass edge to her. Yeah. Oh, I but think I, for but, sure. But she's not going to see any white horses and she's not going to go crazy. Oh, God. Think. No, no so, white horses. Yeah. No white no, horses. No. If I see I don't, one. I don't think that's. Let's not see the white horses. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Thankfully, that's not going to happen. No. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Let's jump in to see what, what some of you guys think, okay? Yes. <laughs> These are comments from last week. Um, ATG NAT podcast says, great video. Thanks for the shout out. Uh, thank you. Uh, and and uh, keep up what you're doing because you guys are putting out good content, and we appreciate that as well. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, John, John L. Gibson, I think this is a message for you. It says, yo, we share the same birthday, bro. My birthday is October 14th, so we would definitely nice. celebrate Halloween ends when it is released on our birthday. Libra's rule. Hell yeah. So, that's so what I'm saying, that, man. That is great. That's going to be a fun birthday celebration. Oh, absolutely. Halloween ends on my birthday and his birthday. Let's have a party, man. Let's do it. Uh, all right. We have Keith Asherbrander, who is, is becoming a regular uh, commenter on our videos. So I love yeah. it. Uh, he says, good stuff. I'm repping you guys, other people. You both work well together. Good content. We appreciate that. Thank you very much. And we have That's a little absolutely. bit more from Keith here, um, which I have to jump over here. You uh, know what? I don't know if you saw this one real quick. And it was one of our, uh, one of our, maybe our, our other two videos. Well, we have more than two, but I'm just saying one of the past couple. He had a really good theory. And it was uh, the tower was going to kind of be like an homage to the fog, the radio tower, which I was kind of cool. See that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool, though. You know, like, <laughs> you can, you, it kind of is in a way, you know. Yeah. No, I, I agree. And that would be really cool if they did that. Um, yeah. K.A.B. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, uh, listen, if uh, if we show a scene of the thing and uh, Sheriff Brackett's in there, which we know he's not going to be, but if he was, <laughs> that'd be OK. That would that be, would be OK. Uh, Keith also says, if you look, okay, so this is responding to the, because he said something about a vaccine sign. Uh, oh, and I yeah, think he yeah. clarifies here. I think he actually means a literal, like, sign, not like, uh, oh, okay. I was, the, I when he you. said that, I was thinking, uh, like, uh, like some sort of, like, subliminal message that they put in the movie or something. Uh, right. No, he says, if you look at the scenes in the hospital and Halloween kills, there are digital place vaccine signs oh, in the okay. movie. You have to pause uh, certain shots, at least three different signs uh, to spot them. It's um, a good eye. Good eye on that. That is. That is. I uh, appreciate the attention to detail. Uh, so the next next time I'm watching this movie, I'm going to be pausing yeah. and looking, looking for right. vaccine signs. Um, Same here. So I actually tried to do a Google search so we'd have some images to put up, but I couldn't find any. Um, he says, in the Halloween 78 flashback, those kids bullying young Lonnie, and when the cop pulled up, he says, go home, and there has been murders. He says, all the kids say at the same time, what did he do? Odd dialogue <laughs> through it. Um, those are some ugly ass kids, by the way. They oh, are some shit. ugly ass kids. I, and and, I, and you know, but he he makes a good point here. Uh, it is a little weird the way the cops, and maybe it was like a, a timepiece thing. But to me, the officers were like group of kids on on the on the uh, on the side of the road in the middle of the night. There's a there's a there's a murderer, Michael Myers, going around killing people. He doesn't escort them home. He just says, "Go home. They've been murdered," and he speeds off. Yeah, he was very very calm about it, and it yeah. was like you know, a couple blocks down the road, this just happened. So yeah, it could be the next ones to get killed. Thanks exactly. for letting them out there. Yeah. Thanks you know? for the help officer. Right. <laughs> uh, so I agree. That was weird. Uh, the comments a little longer than that, but I just wanted to get the gist of that. Um, he also says shout out to Halloween daily news after ends ended filming. Uh, apparently there was a chat with Christopher Nelson. Um, they, they do a Monday night show every Monday. They call Michael Myers Monday. Christopher Nelson said in the chat, the main theory that they died together, Michael and Lori dying together, it's not happening. Now, I haven't seen this yet, um, but he's right. Halloween ends, or Halloween Daily News is a solid uh, source. Um, yeah. And obviously, Christopher Nelson is a solid source. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, so that is, is actually kind of huge news. If, we, if he's saying that they don't die together, 
uh, that, that's uh, yeah. that's pretty significant. That's that's in my mind uh, pretty big uh, news. Um, my only question is, do you think he would give that away though? For sure. I, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Again, and I still think they're fucking with us a lot. So. I, I do too. Absolutely. Uh, Horror Junkies says, I believe. You know what they- though? Oh, one second. I'm sorry. There was one other part to that comment though about a reflection in the knife. Did you get that part? Oh, yeah, there is one more. In the trailer. Because that is actually Vegas, really uh, interesting. In the trailer in Vegas, Lori stands over her prey, knife to his... This is also... This is still Keith. Uh, knife to his head. Michael sees his reflection on the knife blade. What that means, I don't know. Confirmed by a friend whose dad was there who owns several theaters in Missouri, Lori is making the attempt to show their... Is making the attempt to show their... So it sounds like Lori's trying to get him to see his own reflection. Okay, so now if you think about that and you think about uh, Halloween Kills, when they're telling that story and, and uh, Karen looks in the, in, the, in the window. Yeah. She see, like he's basically saying that when he's staring out there, what if he's actually looking inside himself instead of yeah. outside, you know? Yeah. Maybe that's kind of significant to that a little bit. That's the only thing I can think of. That is know? interesting. If, 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 the, if there's a, an effort being made for him to see himself, what does that mean in right. terms of what are they trying to do? That's the only thing I can think of. That That's whole a good big, catch. You know, yeah, that whole big Man, I can't wait to see this trailer. So, you know. Man, yes. <laughs> yes. Damn it, yes. Uh, all right. Horror Junkies, this will be the last one for now. He says, unless you have some that you that you saw. Uh, I believe that they're going to make the Silver Shamrock Company a part of this movie, focusing a lot on the radio tower. Um, and if you think about it, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, is the only Halloween movie with no timeline. That's why you are seeing Silver Shamrock masks throughout the series. That's correct. Uh, the That's only true. movie that has uh, no timeline connection uh, to the rest of the franchise is Silver Shamrock. Yes. Very true. Uh, so we'll just have to it's see. True. Uh, but um, I don't. I don't have any comment. But I do have something that I saw in one of those Halloween group chats, and I thought it was funny yes. to share with you yeah. real quick. Dude said he lost a bet. Uh, because oh, we're making his, bets now. Well, yeah. Dude said he lost a bet because his friend bet him that Michael was not in every Halloween movie, and the guy goes, "Well, goddamn it, I lost on a on a technicality." He is technicality. Yes. Being the commercial. That in Halloween three, yes, they're playing Halloween. Yeah, in Halloween yes. three. Yeah, and so that would be yes. that would be one thing that would kind of create a plot hole if they did yeah. make Halloween three like truly canon in this. Mm-hmm. Would be how do you explain the fact that in the original Halloween three, it was in a totally separate universe because Halloween was a movie. Yeah, that True. was being advertised. You could easily ignore that, I guess, but I that, mean, that yeah. Is, it does pose. It poses the question. To be honest with you, though, unless you're a diehard like us and some oh, of yeah. our, our our comment, uh, some of the people that comment on the videos and stuff, you probably don't even know that. You know what I mean? De- depending depending on how well they did it, I I'd be willing to let it slide personally. But right. it just all depends on how uh, well they 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 did it. <laughs> yeah, and I, another cool thing was I actually stood in that same spot uh, in that in that actual bar from Halloween Three because it's out there in Cali when I was out there. Yeah. We just randomly yeah. found it. It was like we were looking up stuff, and I was like, right. "Oh shit, that's the." It looks completely different now, right. but the inside, the inside actually still has some of the decor and shit. But I just wanted to stand in that same spot, man, and just look at the TV. It was yep. cool, dude. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. It was just that. Cool. That is really cool. Uh, I saw a uh, a show we were watching the other day, and there was a <clears> scene uh, where they were at the Pasadena Sheriff's Department or Pasadena something or other oh, somewhere nice. in Pasadena, and. And uh, I mean, it was so Haddonfield, you know, when they shot, right. you know, and I was like, yeah. my wife probably takes them crazy because I'm like, Haddonfield, Illinois. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, like, dude, it, it's nuts, though, because like when you go to the Myers house, obviously now where, where it's sitting now, mm-hmm. there's train tracks, there's um, right across the street is the uh, hardware store that's still mm-hmm. there because um, they moved the they moved the house from its original yeah. spot, just not too far from where it's at now. Right. And, you know, there's like a bar across the way. So when you go there, it's not very Haddonfield esque, but the house is the house regardless. Oh yeah, yeah. Now when you go deeper into uh, the spots and you go see the the Doyle house, that was what really like uh, man, walking into to that little neighborhood and seeing the Doyle house, it's like sitting how it is now. It's crazy because you, you feel like you walked into the movie. 
Yeah. No, nothing else on that street except for the I've been trick or treated to death tonight house, which is actually right next door. <laughs> right. Um, you don't know what like, death is. <laughs> right. Now, the Wallace house looks completely different. If you didn't know that was the Wallace house, you probably would have been like, where the fuck is it? Right. Yeah. They remodeled but, it. Yeah. But dude, the Doyle house, I shit you not, it looks like you walked into Haddonfield. Wow. It was so crazy, man, to see that in, in person. It was like, yeah. wow. You know, just that part, though. That's cool. Crazy, though. man. Super yeah. cool. That's <laughs> really cool. Hell yeah, dude. All right, guys. We love your comments. We love yes. all of you, of course. Um, check out our Reddit. We have a new subreddit. And that's I'm right, yeah. keep pushing this uh, yes. because that's a cool place to go talk. We'll be on there posting different things. And I hope it takes off. I hope it works out. Uh, Absolutely. Just look up. It's a subreddit. It's just horror, guys. You could search us um and join and all that and uh we could continue to discuss throughout the week we could pull stuff off of there to, to talk about on the show um yeah. and we'll put other than that, things on there too let's see so we got youtube <laughs> we got facebook we got twitter find us on spotify we're going to work on iheart radio so we're going to be on there yep. soon too yeah um biggest thing is when you're on youtube don't forget to hit that subscribe button yeah tell, you, tell your friends about us share it a little bit let's have some yep. fun let's talk some horror yes and as alan said Keep leaving those comments. We love reading them. Yeah. And we love reading them on the show too. So yeah, absolutely. Man. Yes, absolutely. And for those of you that are like guys like Keith and, and a couple of the others that are constantly every week commenting, we appreciate that. Keep it up. Yes. It basically brings you in because like I said, we want to, we want to keep this as a community and, uh, and experience this all together. So subscribe, like, check out all those other things. And yes. uh, that's all I've got. Um, that's it, man. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this whole Christine theory yet. But yeah, hey, it's uh, out there now. I'm, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, if I'm a betting man, I'm putting my money against it. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't sound right. Not no, at all. No, I think Michael's gonna be the right. only antagonist in this movie. But yeah, uh, we don't know for sure, and we will find out in October. So uh, yes. we got a few months left. So all right, guys, yeah. let us know what you think, and uh, until next time, have a good one. Later. Fans, check out and follow the Horror Guys. You can find them on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the Horror Guys. On Twitter, Horror Guys 21, that's H O R R O R G U Y S 21. On YouTube, The Horror Guys. And also on Spotify, search for The Horror Guys. Beetle, beetle.